Welcome, everybody. Um, this event is brought to you by San Diego Design Week and Point Loma Nazarene University Department of Art and Design. I'm Courtney Mayer, and I'm a professor in graphic design. And I'd like to introduce you to my colleague, Kara Lane, over here. <laughs> she is a professor in visual art. Um, I also want to welcome two very special guests. They are Miss Haley Townsend, who has um, a Bachelor of Art in Graphic Design is a, and is a recent grad from the class of 2020. And she's also the creative director and designer of the first virtual exhibition site that we'll be showing you later. I'd also like to introduce Miss Madeline Carpenter, who has her Bachelor of Art in Visual Art. And so welcome. Um, our session today is entitled The Visionaries. And what we'd like to do is um, just share with you a little bit about what makes our program here at PLNU distinctive. So Kara's gonna be talking a little bit about the department as a whole. And then we're gonna kind of switch back and forth between talking about the distinctions of each major. And then we're gonna look at the senior capstone work that is exhibited on the Visionaries website. And then we're going to hear from our recent grads and they're going to share with us a little bit about the, the highlights of their experience as students here at PLNU. And we'll wrap it up um, by opening it up to questions. So if you have questions, just kind of hold on to them until the end and you can either um, raise your hand or put them in the chat and Kara is going to kind of field those questions and we'll see um, if we can make sure we've we've answered all, all of your uh, questions that you have. Um, please note that San Diego Design Week's events follow a code of conduct and if you're interested in reading that you can go to their website at the very bottom. It has a detailed description of code of conduct and I don't anticipate any issues with that today. Um, and I wanted to remind you that we are recording this event and it will be posted on San Diego Design Week.org. So um, with that said, I think we should begin. Again, hello and welcome. So first off, um, I'm just gonna run through, we've got five full-time faculty here at PLNU. Uh, who are teaching. We are all practicing designers and artists. Um, we have David Carlson, who is our chair. He teaches 2D ceramics, sculpture. David Aidy teaches 3D sculpture, illustration, graphic design, specifically visual symbolism. Kara Lane teaches drawing, painting, and 2D. Lael Corbin teaches 3D sculpture, photography, and senior studio. And I teach typography, branding, and identity programs and portfolio. Now I'm going to hand it over to Kara, who's going to start talk, telling you about um, what it's like to be here on the point. Hi, everyone. So nice to see you all here today. Like Courtney said, my name is Kara Lane. This is my second year teaching here at Point Loma. I teach mostly painting and drawing classes here. Um, I came here from Portland, Oregon, where I completed my MFA at Oregon College of Art and Craft in craft. So, um, so happy to see you all. Just want to go over a few distinctions about Point Loma and our art program here and what make it special. So first is our location here on the point in San Diego. We're right on the ocean and enjoy beautiful and inspiring scenery every single day. We are so blessed with a thriving arts community here in San Diego and our location near Los Angeles and Palm Springs offers us so many opportunities for our professional development through some of the world's best art and design institutions. Our students regularly go on trips to see art shows in San Diego and in Los Angeles and even out into the beautiful desert nearby. In fact, our photography students um, even get to go on a camping trip as part of their class every semester to kind of explore the unique landscape in their photography work. So making learning experiential and hands-on by engaging with cultural sites around our area is so important to us and is part of what makes our program really unique and engaging. 
We're also proud to have a welcoming and tight-knit community environment here at Point Loma. We have small class sizes, which means that professors can work with students in a one-on-one -on -one way so that your experience can really be tailored to your medium, to your goals and your interests so that you can really best be prepared for the vocation that you feel called to as an artist or designer. And another really interesting thing is that professors have their studios right here on campus. So there's a sense in which students and professors are really working together um, in creating art and design here. We also have many study abroad opportunities here at Point Loma, specifically a Euro term summer semester that happens every other summer where you can travel to Europe with art and design professors to experience some of the best art and design in the world. You get to see artwork by master artists, as well as experience some of the very best contemporary art being made right now by visiting the world famous Venice Biennale in Documenta. This is really a kind of a once in a lifetime experience to really immerse yourself in art and design with the professors here at Point Loma and your classmates. All of our senior art and design students develop a capstone project that takes the form of either a professional design portfolio for our graphic design students or a professional gallery exhibition for our visual arts students. And both of these are really val valuable kind of things that students can take with them into the professional world after college. We also require that all students engage in a real world internship so that you can gain that valuable experience in your field and connect to industry leaders in the Southern California area and beyond. And as you can see here, um, our students engage in internships in all kinds of venues, all different kinds of locations. We also offer many scholarship opportunities to our students and we actually awarded 25,000 last year alone to our top performing students here at Point Loma. I'm going to talk a little bit about our facilities here as well. We have excellent facilities here that include drawing, painting, and printmaking studio, um, which you can see in the photo on the left here, a sculpture lab, a fully functioning wood and metal shop, a photography lab, ceramic studio, Mac labs, and senior studio spaces. We're also really proud to have a Digi Fab Lab, which you can look at more on the next slide here. So here we have a laser cutter, CNC router, vinyl cutter, 3D printer. All of these things are tools that our students have access to um, to develop their work here at Point Loma. We also are really proud to have Keller Gallery here on campus at Point Loma where our students can show their work in a professional setting. This gallery is just like any other professional professional gallery that you'll see in the real world. Now, um, thanks, Kara. I'd like to show you a, a short video that really um, captures the spirit of this place. And uh, that's all I'm going to say.
being generous to God. Never enter it. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, let's move on to the majors. down here. Um, I'd like to talk a little bit about the graphic design program. We have four concentrations. They are marketing and that's really a partnership with our school of business um, where the students have additional classes that focus on marketing. Um, the interdisciplinary direction um, is really a combination of visual art uh, uh, mediums and graphic design. Interactive web explores more digital applications in visual communication. Illustration focuses more on designers as illustrators um, in a creative life. Um, and as, as Kara stated before, all of our students must complete a professional internship before they graduate. And then they follow up with this final um, senior capstone project of having a portfolio review where we invite professionals from all over San Diego who come in and sit and have two different sessions with professional designers to talk about their work. And the cool thing is that when before students leave, they have developed their own professional brand identity. And that story of who they are and what they stand for and what makes them special is packaged in their print portfolio, in their web portfolio, and they're able to really effectively communicate that with the audience that comes in. And it's just such a joyful experience. And it follows with a reception for the community and family and friends. And as you can see in the photo, it's really, it's really awesome. Our students, a high percentage of them are in graphic design jobs within the first year and end up in, in design studios, agencies, in-house, freelance, startup, sometimes even teaching, in publication design. They um, really have a solid foundation for um, pursuing lots of different opportunities. Let's move on to the next slide. Now Kara is going to talk about visual art. We also offer a Bachelor's of Art in Visual Art here at Point Loma. And we have four concentrations within that, drawing, painting, and printmaking, sculpture and installation, photography, and art history. And what's unique about our program is that our visual arts seniors have the opportunity to display their work in our visual arts gallery on campus. So each artist will defend their work in a panel composed of faculty and professional artists. And after that defense, um, the artists get a chance to have a really fun reception for family, friends, and community. It's always a really fun time. And these shows really give the opportunity for students to experience what it's like to have a professional exhibition just like they would in the real world. Our visual arts majors also engage in internships, like we talked about before, um, in a professional setting, working with curators in San Diego, for example, meeting other professional artists in the area or working with arts nonprofit. The opportunities are really endless. Our alumni are also um, in a lot of different places. The, uh, many of them go on to graduate school to get their MFA. And actually the number of Point Loma graduates going on to MFA programs exceeds the national average. And of those um, students who get their MFA after completing their degree from Point Loma, about 80% did so at an institution that's ranked among the top 10 MFA programs in the country. Our Alumni are also um, teachers, professors, art critics, professional art consultants, artists showing their work all over the world and professional gallery and museum exhibitions. Um, There's so many different places our graduates go and we're so proud of that. Okay, um, I'd like to talk a little bit about the art education major. Um, one of the cool things is that our department works with our school of education to um, create a, a, um, a major that you can complete within four years and get your, your education certificate. Um, there are two concentrations. You can either go the graphic design or the visual art um, 
direction in terms of choosing that concentration. Um, depending on that, we'll determine whether or not you participate in a Keller Gallery senior exhibition or if you participate in a portfolio review. Um, students, instead of internships, their internship is, is really the equivalent of a student teaching experience in the San Diego public schools or charter schools. And many of our students uh, go on to teaching careers and, and stay locally, but some have um, are teaching in other parts of the country as well. Um, next, I'd like to show you the, um, the first online exhibition site created because of COVID. And it's called The Visionaries. And um, I would like to actually bring Haley um, into focus here, who is responsible for the creative direction for this site. So Haley, do you want to give them a little insight on um, what your thoughts were for um, this creative direction? Yes. Hello, everyone. First off, uh, my name's Haley. I uh, went into this project with um, really looking at literary devices on how to um, tackle this and make it successful. In my mind, I wanted to collaborate both the art and design majors into one um, unity group. And I uh, wanted to represent that in alert the literary devices of um, Synecdoche. And in that um, same ideology, I wanted to collaborate um, the visionaries as a collective whole um, to tie in art and designers um, as creatives. Uh, with that, I wanted to identify both um, groups of majors as visionaries in the mindset of, if you see right here onto the photography in the background, um, I used a crystal. With that, I wanted to identify how we are the visionaries. Uh, we wanted to also collaborate, even though we went through a moment in COVID-19, kind of dimming um, and challenging us as creatives in this way of um, getting to the end goal of our portfolios and our art shows. Um, I wanted to have that photography identify as um, bringing a light onto the subjects um, during these unprecedented times. Um, the visionaries itself, they fit as a name to embody the synecdoche of creatives from the class of 2020. Um, along that, um, the artists and designers, um, I view the class as um, their transformers um, in the same sense because of their skills, because of the engagement through their creativity and passion, um, not allowing um, the dimness of uh, challenges to overcome their creativity and their passion drive um, and work. Great. Thank you, Haley. Um, I would like to, um, this is actually um, Madison's piece here. Madison, I, I think I want to transi transition into you kind of talking about the highlights of your experience as a visual artist at PLNU. Yeah, sure. It sounds great. Um, hi, everyone. <laughs> My name is Madison. Um, yeah, it, I, thinking back now that, you know, things are very slowed down and um, got a, a lot of time to think post-grad, um, thanks to quarantine, um, I've had a lot of time to think about my experience at Point Loma, and I'm so grateful for the department and just the different qualities that made my experience wonderful. Um, I think Kara talks about the small class sizes and I I can't stop coming back to that. Um, I think it fostered such an amazing community between um, both the students and the professors that lasted through our four years. Um, and I think especially going into senior capstones and getting ready for your show um, as a visual art major, it's such a hectic time, um, such a time of anxiety and um, nervousness, but also inspiration for the future and being able to share that with a close knit group of people that kind of grew up in the department together um, was such an amazing opportunity for me. Um, for me, I, I was the first person to um, have a show this last 
spring semester. So I kind of narrowly dodged the, the um, pandemic change for the format of shows. Um, and I think even after shows were kind of canceled due to the pandemic um, and moved to an online format, that community still persisted to support um, each other as we were kind of trying to figure out what um, our senior year would look like without the normal, you know, send off of a show. So um, having that foundation and community was so important. Um, I also think that a big point of distinction for me was having professors that were practicing artists who had gone through um, a lot of the troubleshooting that um, a lot of the visual artists, at least in my, you know, uh, concentration dealt with and having such a large breadth of knowledge to instill in us to um, whenever I, you know, wanted to do something weird with plaster, I could go to any of the professors and inevitably one of them would have done it in grad school or something. So um, just an incredible amount of knowledge packed into one small department um, and so accessible for us all the time was just such a wonderful bonus of having a small department for me. Um, and yeah, for me specifically as a sculpture and installation concentration, also having professors who are practicing in those areas and had experience, experience excuse me, with um, putting up an installation with a time crunch or, um, you know, kind of dealing with the ins and outs of that was super helpful and I couldn't be more grateful. It was an amazing experience. Great. Thanks, Madison. Yeah, no problem. Um, now I want to uh, switch it back to Haley. Haley, do you want to kind of talk about the highlights of your experience in the graphic design program? I um, likewise had such an amazing opportunity and experience through this program. I came in late as a transfer. Um, so I kind of collaborated all my classes into semester um, back to back. So. Um, I felt really inspired each semester to, in that same sense, intermingle my classes. So um, I, if I had one project for one class, I was able to tie and um, create in the same setting and um, have concepts that aligned, um, that pushed me personally. I Likewise, I um, used the Mac Lab to um, its fullest extent. I felt very grateful to have printers there that are up for use. Um, I, we likewise, I also, um, to say my concentration itself is interdisciplinary. So I really focused on intermingling the graphic design portion of my major as well as um, the fine art side. And with that, I feel grateful to have been able to come up with some really amazing projects that were mixed media. In that same sense, I um, use the Mac Lab, like I said, but I use the art um, art room in the whole department and the studio to um, my capabilities and my skills, and I felt grateful for that as well. Um, the community, like Madison was saying, was um, such a key component within uh, my work as well, and inspired. And not only that, um, I was pushed each day to think outside the box, push as hard as I could with each project. Um, and I wanted to stay true to myself. Right here is um, my work as well. So uh, this I'm gonna, is- I'm gonna go through these slides for you, um, like I did for Madison here. Um, put this back to a smaller real estate there for our photos. But yeah, go ahead, Haley. Yeah, so, and then this is the poster as well. I, um, in these, uh, few slides, I, they're mainly focused on typography. I believe in my last uh, senior year, I really pushed myself with typography um, and bringing in, I'm also very passionate with photography. So I felt thankful for professors who were in both the fine art and graphic design element and pushed me into um, challenging both skills and seeing how um, it would be successful and something I really enjoyed and felt in an environment where I could just create and yeah, have all the resources to do so. Yeah. Thanks, Haley. Uh, yeah, so let me, um, I'm gonna move this aside and um, 
come back to our uh, slide. Um, I think we would like to open it up to um, a Q and A um, for any questions we have from the audience. Courtney, we have one question already here in the chat sure. asking yeah. how many students we have per class and per major. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, um, I see anywhere from six to 20 students, depending on the class. Um, I would say that the average size is probably, you know, uh, 10 to 15. Um, but the really wonderful thing about that is that um, we get to spend a lot of time together. We get to know each other. As a faculty, it's really important for me to get to know each each person that comes through and know what their passions and dreams are and help um, kind of act as um, as a guide to, you know, getting them to the proper resources they need to succeed. And I really, I want them to be authentically themselves and, and with, in whatever medium that is. Um, I think that's one of the roles that all of us faculty really enjoy is, is getting to know our students, finding out what their goals and dreams are and helping them reach those goals and dreams. Um, small class sizes, we, and, and then we try to also, I think, um, at least for me, I, in graphic design, if I've got a project, I really want that student to um, use mediums that they love to achieve whatever that project is. And if they find themselves um, loving typography, then maybe a typographic solution for a specific project is something I'm gonna let them explore. If it's photography or if it's illustration, um, school is a chance to get your feet wet and try things. And, and once you find that passion, then you want to have time to build it and develop it. And I think that we give the, our students the time and space to do that, which I, I love. Yeah, I have a similar experience, about six to 17 students per class. And something that's really fun, too, is that a lot of the students um, will have for multiple classes or, you know, multiple semesters. So you really get to know students individually and what they're passionate about and really help them grow as an artist or designer because of that close relationship and because you have a really strong sense of what their interests and goals and passions are. Right, right. So yeah, we have, um, you know, about anywhere from 15 to 20 students who graduate every year lately. It's been closer, you know, 17, 18, 19, 20 that are graduating every year in design. Um, I know we have a hundred um, students overall too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, we have another question for um, Haley and Madison. Um, what drew you to Point Loma um, and have you been considering other art design programs? What was your final inspiration for, sec for selecting Point Loma? What really drew you to Point Loma? Um, I'll start. I was actually, I actually entered as a journalism major, so I didn't look at <laughs> many art departments um, prior to switching my major. I, um, I think I actually attended a presentation by Courtney, um, like during that first week of NSO um, orientation and, um, you know, instantly fell in love and kind of went from there to change my major. So I didn't have a huge, um, you know, process of looking at other schools, but um, I'm, I'm really happy <laughs> that um, I was at Point Loma when I decided to make that change because I, I wouldn't have changed it for the world. I likewise also, I came in as a literature English major and I switched my major from that to um, art education with focus in graphic design. And then after that semester, I decided to go fully graphic design with a concentration in interdisciplinary work. And uh, that process for me, I, what drew me to Point Loma, uh, my mom actually went to Point Loma, so she was al she's alumni. Um, so I kind of was raised going to Point Loma and I always kind of envisioned and hoped for it to go um, to the school. And so um, doing that, I realized that I wanted to pursue my passion of um, art and design and 
So I found the, um, the department to be overly um, welcoming and kind and cherishing with uh, exciting for me to come in. And um, likewise that there were the resources that I was looking for. So um, I felt thankful to find that in the university that I was already enrolled in. Um, I can say a little bit about the university as a whole. You know, we are a small um, private Christian art, um, Christian liberal arts education uh, university with under 3,000 students that are that are on the point on a regular non-COVID year. Um, but um, yeah, I, I just think it's a, a really special place. I think that um, the faculty that, that are here really feel called to be here and um, really, I think we love what we're doing. We love the students and um, I really like the well-rounded education that, um, you know, I think that, that the, you know, that the liberal arts component and, and there of course too, you know, the, um, the faith connection and how that plays a role in their education and in their vocation um, moving forward um, makes them very well-rounded. I think because of that, you know, they're great at, um, you know, just being wonderful people, number one. Number two, I think that they can, in writing and orally, communicate very effectively I think they can problem solve, think critically, and um, I just think they make really attractive folks to hire and be ready um, to go in, in any direction they choose. Kara, do you want to add anything to that? Um, yeah, I totally agree with you that the liberal arts education and the way that it offers you opportunities for study out for studying outside of just visual art or graphic design is really um, a powerful thing. And I didn't go to Point Loma. I went to Olivet Nazarene University, which is a sister university to Point Loma. Um, but I got a liberal arts degree there. And when I went into my MFA program, I felt like I was more prepared than some of my peers to talk about more of a wide range of topics and a wide range of disciplines. So I felt very lucky for that. And that that's what makes me passionate about teaching in a liberal arts institution as well. I just think it's really important to kind of have that well-rounded um, understanding of the world. Mm -hmm. I think the other opportunity um, that presents itself, at least in graphic design, is that um, um, oftentimes we get involved in um, community and civic engagement projects. Um, for example, um, this fall, the typography class is going to be working on get out the vote posters through the AIGA, or they have um, a, a creation care week at the beginning of October, and we're partnering with the director of the Office of Sustainability to um, create um, narratives about um, sustainability in regards to the university and the larger world as a whole. And so uh, there are a lot of uh, bigger, wider opportunities that we get to take advantage of. Yeah, any other questions that anyone wants to type in the chat or feel free to unmute yourself um, with the icon at the left if you'd like to ask a question out loud. Anything else? We have great sunsets here every night. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> oh, we have a question. Where can we find the artists on social media? Great question. So we have a, um, Instagram account for our art and design program here at Point Loma, and that is PLNU Art Design on Instagram. And so I'll send that in the chat right now. And Haley and Madison, if you both have professional Instagrams where you show your work, you can send that in the chat also. Um, but a great place to start is Point, uh, PLNU Art Design Instagram account. We post artwork from our students. Um, post photos of our students going on uh, trips. Um, just mm -hmm. it's a great way to connect with our program and see what our students are up to mm -hmm. and professors as well. Hi, I have a question. Sure. 
um, when it comes to our grant about um, grants and scholarships and um, applying outside the university, do you have classes that teach you or professors that you encourage you to apply to this kind of stuff? Encourage you to apply to grant opportunities? Is that what you're asking? Yes, um, when it's come to apply for scholarships from HUR or grants or applying outside um, to opportunities outside the campus, uh, do you have classes or professors that encourage you to do it? Yes, we have. I know just in my classes that I teach, just the general painting and drawing classes, I'm always kind of keeping an eye out for any um, exhibition opportunities that I see that I can send to my students. Um, actually, just last night, I found an opportunity for a show um, of wearable art. And I know, okay, I have a student who would be perfect for that. And I can just shoot her that application and i um, always happy to help with those kind of applications when needed. But we also have a... Um, Kind of a senior capstone class um, that I believe um, works with students on those kind of professional development things as well. Um, Madison, do you want to talk about that at all? Yeah, um, yes. Uh, every opportunity our professors are um, constantly letting us know about residency programs and um, what opportunities there are for grad school or even shows um, that we can start applying for, you know, in our, our time at Point Loma. Um, for the visual arts students, that starts in the very beginning at um, our first like 2D or three-dimensional um, design classes. So um, right away, you're starting to build that relationship and learning about those, um, especially in our capstones. We begin to talk more about life after Point Loma and what opportunities are around for us. But um, I think in my experience, because our classes are so close-knit and we have such um, strong relationships with our professors pretty off the bat, they're, they're always talking to us about it. So um, I remember my sophomore year, there was a show in Oceanside that fit what I was making at the time really perfectly. So um, one of my professors who I had only had one class with um, shot me an email and said, hey, you should apply for this. So um, you know, from the very beginning, they're really dedicated to making sure you know what's out there and um, what would fit you best. And I think um, for scholarships, there's a number that the um, art and design department offers specifically, and also um, the school as a whole has a bunch of endowed scholarships for people of different backgrounds. So um, yeah, all of our professors are really knowledgeable about that, as well as our financial aid advisors and and those administrative people. But yeah, they're always working to make sure you know about it. You know, that um, reminds me too of um, the fact that there are a lot of graphic design jobs on campus um, through the school newspaper, through the yearbook, um, through um, a publication called The Driftwood. They select a graphic designer annually to, um, it's a collection of um, writing and art and um you know across art design this this is an annual publication and um so i have quite a few designers that actually end up um working every week doing some kind of a graphic design job um there are opportunities in the marketing and creative services um, I had someone last year who was working for admissions, helping them with visual communications. Um, so yeah, just while you're a student, there's a lot of working opportunities on campus. And then I know through the, for the visual arts side, there's a lot of um, student opportunities to work side by side with the professors. Yeah, and I think that really comes from, um, like we're talking about um, artists and designers, or the professors being working artists and designers. So we're always, you know, looking for what opportunities are out there, and we are always excited to be able to relay those opportunities to our students. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a great question. Thank you. Any other questions here? Either in the chat, or you can unmute and ask. Maybe wait a couple more seconds here. Anybody else? Thank 
Okay. Well, if there are no more questions, I'm going to go to our last slide. Um, well, second to the last. Thank you all so much for joining us. Um, it's really been a, a pleasure to share with you um, a little bit about the experience that we're really so fortunate to have here. And um, we would love to talk with you if you have um, additional questions. Um, this last slide shows our website and our department email, but also um, the email directly to Kara or myself. And um, please, please feel free to uh, reach out to us and um, we'd be happy to share with you anything that um, you want to know. So um, thanks again, everyone. This has been great. Um, we appreciate you having taking time out of your schedule to find out more about Point Loma Nazarene University and and our um, our community here and uh, have a great night. Thank you so much. And thank you, Madison and Haley for joining us. Yes. too. Yeah, um, yeah, I want yeah, I should say um, speaking of the thank yous. Thank you to San Diego Design Week for um, reaching out to us and giving us the opportunity to host this event. Yes, thank you, Kara, for joining us tonight. And to Haley and Madison, you guys are awesome. You guys are some of our stars. And we look forward to seeing where you go professionally and creatively. Uh, we hope the rest of you will all join us one day here on our campus. Come to Keller Gallery for some of these senior shows. Come to a portfolio review. We'd love to meet you. So thanks. Have a great night, everybody. Thank you. Bye.